Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew in the Crew. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Easter door hanger. So the supplies you're going to need to recreate this project are one of these DIY wooden eggs from the Dollar Tree, a um, bunny stencil or shape that you can trace, some of this pearl ribbon from Dollar Tree, some ribbon of your choice that coordinates with your supplies that you choose. I'm also going to use some of this white and black um, contact paper, some of these bows from the birthday section of the Dollar Tree, some um, adhesive stickers, any one will do. You're also going to need some embellishments like some sticker pearls and some of these carrots from this Easter sign that Dollar Tree carries. We're going to use both of those. You could also use foam board if you can't find those. We're going to use some black vinyl adhesive and we're going to use this rose gold scrapbooking paper. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm also going to use this little happy Halloween sign that I got for 20 cents on clearance at Hobby Lobby. But again, you can use foam board. We're going to need some different colors of paint that coordinate with our project and then some paint brushes, some, um, something to write with so that you can trace your stencil, some scissors. You're also going to need a hole punch. This is optional and then a hot glue gun. And you might also want to use a Sharpie as you'll see in the directions here. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is take our granite gray paint from Apple Barrel that I got at Walmart. And we're going to paint about three fourths of the way down with just a little makeup sponge. Then we're going to take our contact paper and trace the bottom quarter of this Easter egg. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that out along the bottom. So once I have the bottom all cut out, I did even up the top by using the grids on the paper. So then I lined it up with the bottom and then carefully lay it on top of the egg, making sure I don't get any air bubbles underneath. Once that's done, I cut the rose gold scrapbooking paper down to about two and a half inches and then trace around that so that I have nice edges that match up with the sides of the Easter egg and then using some hot glue. Once I check the sides to make sure it fits properly, I'm just going to hot glue this down. So now I found this glitter adhesive um, vinyl from Dollar Tree. They come in a three pack over in the arts and crafts section. If you can't find that, that's okay. You can use scrapbook paper, you can use construction paper, ribbon, it doesn't really matter. I also punched little holes in it just so we could see the rose gold come through there and glued that on and then went ahead and glued on some of this pearl ribbon. It did hang off the side a little bit so I trimmed that down to size and added a little bit more hot glue to the corner. Now that that's done, I took the little dots that I cut out using the hole puncher and I went ahead and peeled off the adhesive back for those and just used the dots to decorate around the top of my Easter egg and then I took some of those sticky pearls and put those between the dots. So the smaller spaces I just did two and at the top I did three between each black dot. So now I'm going to use my bunny stencil. I'm going to use that to trace onto the rose gold scrapbook paper and then I decorated the bunny with some of the pearls on his tail, the neck, the ears, and the eye. And then I'm not going to use that wood piece. I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside for another project. So I just use hot glue to attach the bunny to the top of the egg and try to make sure it was centered as close as I could. Once that was done, I went ahead and glued on my bows to the bottom section there. Um, and again, I found those over by the birthday bows. So now using some sandpaper, we're going to get the glitter off of these um, carrots and then I paint them with a light pink first and then a rose gold metallic paint once the light pink paint dried and then I use the black chalk paint to do the tops of the carrots then I also used a little bit of the pearls to add some embellishments now taking that little happy Halloween sign I'm just going to use some white chalk paint to cover that up I have a Cricut so I used mine to create the happy Easter but again you can use the Dollar Tree poster stickers or any stickers you can find. You could also just use a Sharpie marker or paint to write on this. Again, you can use foam board or any different little pieces of wood that um, Dollar Tree carries. I'm just using this because that's what I had on hand. So using my Sharpie, I just trace around the sides with some little stitch marks. And then using my white and black polka dot ribbon, I started to glue this together with the carrots um, opposite directions. And 
just adding ribbon as I went down so I could space it out the way I wanted it to be. So once that was done and dry, I went ahead and flipped it over and then decided where I wanted the egg to go and glued that on as well. I also made a tiny bow for the bottom here just because it looked a little bit plain right there. So I went ahead and made a coordinating bow to stick right in the middle and then I also used the same ribbon to make a little hanger that I hot glued onto the back. And this is the whole entire project finish. I love how it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and hang mine up on Saturday, right after Valentine's Day. I just love the shabby chic look to this. It's not really farmhouse. I was kind of going for a farmhouse look at first, but I love these bows so much I couldn't wait to use them in this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've worked really hard on it. I'm still having issues with my editing software, so it's been giving me trouble literally all day, but I had a lot of fun making this, so it was definitely well worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it, and here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. Have a great day.